Hi, this is just a short little video on the solubility limit and saturation of things. So um, we're going to use these terms, saturated, unsaturated, solubility limit, and supersaturated solutions. So these are all different types of solutions. A saturated solution is kind of like, think of a saturated sponge. That means it's holding as much water as it possibly can. A saturated solution has as much solute dissolved as possible. So if I were to add any extra, it would just kind of settle on the bottom. Think of um, like if you get iced coffee at Dunkin' Donuts, right? Um, if you add sugar to it, a lot of the times that sugar is just going to settle on the bottom. And that's because it is currently a saturated solution. You cannot dissolve anymore. That's what a saturated solution is. Unsaturated, then, on the other hand, is that everything is soluble, but you could actually dissolve more. So if I had a coffee and I added my sugar to it and it did dissolve, that means it had been an unsaturated solution. So you can always dissolve more. So the solubility limit is that max solute that can be dissolved. Okay. So um, like all substances have their own solubility limit. It's the specific amount of stuff that you can dissolve at a different temperature. Now, solubility limits do change with temperature. If you think of making um, like sweet tea, if you want to make extra sweet tea, um, a lot of the times they'll add in sugar and you'll heat it up to get more to dissolve because at a higher temperature, sugar is more soluble. So solubility limits do depend on temperature. So I do like this picture. This would be an unsaturated solution. It says a saturated solution contains the maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved. So unsaturated means uh, more solute would dissolve. Saturated solution means if I added more solute, you can kind of see the purple in there. It's not going to dissolve. It's just going to settle to the bottom. Now then what is a super saturated solution? A super saturated solution is a very specific and special solution. These are actually very difficult to make. Um, it is when extra solute has been dissolved because it was heated up. So like think of that sweet tea I was talking about. I heated it up, I dissolved that extra sugar, and then I cooled it back down very carefully, mind you. Um, then it's all still dissolved. Now the problem with super saturated solutions are they're really sensitive. So if you add any extra to it or if you agitate it in any way, all that extra stuff that you dissolve is going to crystallize. It's going to come out of solution. Um, uh, kind of like rock candy. Um, if you dissolve a whole bunch of sugar and water to make rock candy, right? You've got this jar and it's sugar and water and you've heated it up, got a bunch of sugar to dissolve, right? If you didn't put a stick in there, you just left it very carefully, it would probably stay that way, dissolved, it wouldn't make any crystals. Hi, but if you put a stick in it, that kind of agitates it and it sparks this crystallization process. So then it's actually all going to crystallize onto that stick. So if you didn't put a stick in it, it's a super saturated solution because you very carefully cooled it down. You didn't agitate it. You agitate it all. You put that stick in there and you're going to get all that sugar to crystallize on that stick. So, so um, usually with rock candy, we go ahead and put the stick in. So you never actually have a super saturated solution, but you could if you didn't put that stick in there. So heating it up and then very carefully cooling it down. And if I didn't say anything about heating it up and then very carefully cooling it down, it's not a super saturated solution. You can heat something up and then usually when you cool it down, all of the extra stuff is going to settle on the bottom. If it's a super saturated solution. You have to cool it very carefully and not agitate it and not add any more. I'm, um, I'm going to show you a little video of a super saturated solution so you can see kind of what I'm talking about. Okay, so this isn't me, but I've made one of these before. Um, this is a saturated solution. Okay, I heated it up um, and I actually got a bunch more to dissolve. So it's actually now a super saturated solution. I set it on the counter. I very carefully let it cool down and you'll notice it is still dissolved. Now watch once we agitate it by adding just a little speck of extra crystal and you'll see what happens. Okay, just really quick, I'm gonna add one tiny seed add crystal. I'm not sure if you can crystal. see it on the tip of that You can't even see it on the tip of that uh, scupula. Uh, I'm gonna add that to it. my super saturated You add that and it agitates it just enough and that it's gonna start to go crystallize. So all of that extra stuff that you had state. dissolved is now coming out of the solution and turning into crystals. So it cool? was super saturated, so but now it's just going to be saturated because all that extra stuff is turning into solid. It's coming out of the solution. Added. And they add two. Okay, I think those are just really cool. That sodium acetate one. Um, and if you took my class in person, maybe I would be able to show you one.